KHOU 11 News at Noon starts now. Now at noon, remembering the man who brought football back to Houston and the message from Bob McNair's son. Plus, a violent migrant protest involving tear gas, the threat the president is making in response. And genetically modified babies, what this researcher says he's trying to prevent. Today, the Texans plan to honor their owner, Bob McNair, on a national stage. He passed away Friday at the age of 80 and knew at noon his son, Texans chairman Cal McNair, just released a statement reading in part, my family and I would like to express our sincerest gratitude for the prayers and uplifting messages we've received over the past few days. In times of sorrow, it's often difficult to look forward, but through God and buoyed by the memories of my father, I can say with great clarity and conviction that the best days are ahead for the Texans and the city of Houston. He went on to add his dad longed to bring a Super Bowl title to Houston and repay the love and fulfillment this city showed him. Tonight, during Monday Night Football, the Texans take on the Tennessee Titans, that team that left Houston, leaving a void McNair filled in 2002 with the Texans. The game kicks off at 7:15 tonight at NRG. Bob McNair's initials have been spray painted into the field and will be on the players' helmets as well. There will also be a moment of silence in his honor. Our extensive coverage on McNair's continues right now on the KHOU mobile app and KHOU.com. Right now, NASA is making last minute maneuvers to guide its InSight spacecraft to a successful touchdown on Mars. After six and a half months of space travel, it's expected to land a little before 2 p.m. Houston time. For the first time, scientists will study not just the planet's surface, but also its core. The better we understand that environment at Mars, what Mars is like and how we can land, we'll be better prepared to send humans to Mars in the future. The lander will be the first U.S. robot to land on Mars since the Curiosity rover back in 2012. InSight will use solar panels and send NASA scientists data about the red planet's core. NASA is also hosting a watch party. We'll be there live today coming up at 430. Happening now, a shooter is on the run after chaos breaks out at a block party. One man died and six others were hurt overnight. It was actually a teenage concert near Yale and Cross Timbers. Police say a security guard was checking people at the entrance when a man refused to let the guards search him. Then he got into a fight in the parking lot, but it's not clear if that same man pulled the trigger. President Trump repeated a threat today to fully close the U.S. border with Mexico following violence at the busiest U.S. border crossing Sunday. Mullah Lena is at the White House with more on the president's response. Border Patrol agents fired tear gas Sunday on migrants who tried to rush the border between Tijuana, Mexico and San Diego. This migrant from Honduras says many young children fainted from the gas. It started as a protest against the way the U.S. processes asylum claims. Mexico's Interior Ministry said when police tried to break it up, about 500 migrants tried to illegally cross the border. U.S. Customs and Border Patrol claims some of the migrants threw rocks and other projectiles at agents. In response, border agents closed the San Ysidro port of entry for hours. In a tweet this morning, the president characterized many of the migrants as stone-cold criminals, saying they are not coming into the U.S. and we will close the border permanently if need be. Over the weekend, the incoming Mexican government denied reports of a deal with the Trump administration to keep asylum seekers in Mexico while U.S. courts process their claims. More than 5,000 migrants, mostly from Central America, have arrived in Tijuana by caravan in recent weeks, hoping to seek asylum. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, the White House. Here's a look at our other top stories this morning. Bank of America is working to fix a glitch at one of its ATMs after customers said it was spitting out $100 bills. Deputies stopped at the location on 1960 in spring when they saw a big crowd, but they shut it down once they found out what was happening. No word on how much money was taken. 
Early voting begins today for the special election. It's the seat to fill Texas State Senator Sylvia Garcia, the one she left when she was elected to Congress. Democratic State Reps Carol Alvarado and Anna Hernandez are vying for that seat. Big news in the world of college sports. Mac Brown is reportedly getting back in the game. Inside Carolina is reporting the former Longhorn head coach will return to the University of North Carolina. He coached there in the 90s before leaving for Texas. A formal announcement is expected tomorrow. The Midwest getting hammered by a powerful pre winter snowstorm. Wow. And some areas could get up to a foot of snow by nightfall. Snow and wind along I-18 and I-170 reduced visibility to zero and made driving nearly impossible. And at O'Hare Airport in Chicago, more than 800 flights were canceled yesterday on one of the busiest travel days of the year. Blake, you've been watching this storm. Where is it now? Yeah, it's moving up into the northeast. It's turned to all rain for the big cities. So if you're traveling up to D.C., Philadelphia, uh, Newark, New York, Boston, lots of rain headed that way. But the snow, for the most part, is over. And you know what? We're looking at really nice weather here locally as well. But as we expand the picture here heading up to the north, you can see just a few remaining flurries getting out here towards South Saginaw, Michigan, and then you can see all the rain getting out towards Buffalo. And as we move over to the big cities, here's New York City right there down towards Philadelphia and into uh, parts of uh, the Baltimore region. So lots of rain heading up into the northeast, but check this out. This is snowpack. What you see here in the in the pink circle here, there's Kansas City right there. Northern Missouri getting out towards Illinois. Now you can't see the snowpack across Illinois because the clouds are still there. But as we put this into motion, you can see how the clouds are beginning to pull away from the region, but it's leaving behind that white coloring there and that's that snow that continues to be on the ground here locally too warm for snow 54 at Bush Airport and Hobby 52 in Conroe 48 up in Huntsville going to be a chilly afternoon especially with northerly winds between 8 and about 15 miles an hour so Looking ahead, we're looking at about 54 degrees through about 4 o'clock, cooling down into the 40s, and some of us could see a freeze heading into the overnight hours tonight. We'll give you your full forecast coming up in just a few minutes. All right, thank you, Blake. Genetically modified babies, the change that could someday eliminate a deadly virus. And amazing news for conjoined twins successfully separated. The surgery and a team of doctors that made it happen. And it's Cyber Monday. We're going inside Houston's Amazon distribution plant to show you how this tidal wave of packages are delivered. Houston is a bustling metropolis. There is a lot to keep up with. And sadly, there's a lot of that. I hear from you guys all the time. Mia, I don't watch the news. It's depressing. Here's the thing. We have to tell you about that. It's our job to keep you informed. But for every bad story, there's a good story that we're going to bring to you. It is about balancing the good with the bad. That's one of the ways KHOU stands for Houston. Effortless car buying is West Point GMC Buick. Enjoy complimentary loaners delivered to your home or office while we service your vehicle. Today, get 12,000 off a new 2018 Buick Enclave. We'll do everything in our power to get you rolling in an hour. West Point GMC Buick on the Katy Freeway. If you or a loved one are 55 or older and worked around asbestos before 1982, you may qualify for compensation. My husband was exposed to asbestos on the job, and we never knew it. We called about the free asbestos health test. My husband was tested, and he qualified for cash compensation. This is not a lawsuit against the company you worked for. Schedule your free asbestos health test today. Call 855-579-5299. If you've been injured in an accident, call 1-800-JUSTICE and we'll meet with you free of charge to discuss your case. You don't know if the insurance company is being fair until you talk to an attorney. Simmons & Fletcher, Christian Trial Lord. 
Effortless car buying is West Point GMC Buick. Enjoy complimentary loaners delivered to your home or office while we service your vehicle. Today, buy a new 2018 Buick Encore for just $15.9. We'll do everything in our power to get you rolling in an hour. West Point GMC Buick on the Katy Freeway. A new hope for stopping Alzheimer's. A vaccine could soon be headed to human trials. Researchers with UT Southwestern Medical Center in Dallas tested the drug on animals, and the results were promising. They say it could cut the number of diagnoses in half or delay dementia by five years. A Chinese researcher claims that he helped make the world's first genetically modified babies. He altered their DNA with a powerful new tool that let scientists edit the genetic code. He says his goal is not to cure or prevent an inherited disease, but to bestow a trait that few people naturally have, an ability to resist possible future infections with the AIDS virus. These two sisters have a lot to be thankful for today. They've been released from an Australia hospital after being successfully separated. The 15 month olds are from Bhutan. The sisters lived their life joined at the torso until two weeks ago. It took a team of 25 to separate the pair during a six hour operation. Are you taking advantage of Cyber Monday? We're getting your take plus inside Amazon on the busiest shipping day of the year. My son Josh and I have opened a unique and cutting edge dealership in Pasadena, Bayway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Our inventory covers all life's adventures. And if you can't make it out here, we are happy to bring the test drive to you wherever you are in the Houston area. Now, during the Black Friday sales event, take up to 9,000 off MSRP or lease a new 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited for just $357 per month. If you find a new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram anywhere else for a better price, I'll pay you $1,000. Come see us today and raise your expectations. So who here is not satisfied with their Medicare plan? Who's shopping for a new plan this year? It's time to switch for good to Amerigroup. For premiums as low, is zero dollars with a network of doctors and hospitals you trust switch for affordable prescription drugs and new for 2019 an allowance for health items at walmart switch to a plan that pays for things that original medicare won't like benefits to help you live a healthier more comfortable life and switch because you can be confident amerigroup understands you and the road you traveled and what it takes to move forward join the thousands who choose amerigroup every year for zero dollar monthly premiums, affordable prescriptions, and the doctors they love. Switch for good to Amerigroup. And protect yourself from high medical costs. Enrollment ends December 7th, so call today for more information. Call 888-271-1447 now. Get that great Mack Hike feeling. The holiday season is here, and Mack Hike Ford is ready to help you celebrate. We've been a family-owned business for 40 years, and we know the importance of family. At Mack Hike Ford, it's always about you. In fact, we'll beat any price on a new Ford or pay you $1,000. It's time to zero in on holiday savings. Zero down, zero percent interest, and zero payments until 2019. Find the best car or truck for your family at Mack Hike Ford. This portion of the news is brought to you by Exclusive Furniture, where low prices live. Do you or someone you care for have Parkinson's? While motor symptoms are most common, many people also experience a decline in memory and impaired thinking. A research study being conducted by Eli Lilly is now underway in Houston, and participants are needed. Study volunteers will receive all study-related care and investigational study drug at no cost. To learn more, visit thepresencestudy.com or call 713-955-1811. Cyber Monday is here, and today we're asking for your take. Who are you shopping for on this Cyber Monday? Family, friends, yourself, or no one? Right now, the majority of you are saying no one, just under 70% of you. To weigh in, head to khou.com slash vote now. You can also open the KHOU mobile app and click on the vote now tile. Cyber Monday means Amazon distribution centers are in overdrive. Our Michelle Choi takes us to their North Houston location where they're working to get a wave of packages delivered on time. Amazon calls it their biggest day of the year. It's kind of our Super Bowl. We're super excited. And rightfully so. 
Thousands of items are expected to be shipped out today for this year's Cyber Monday. To give you a little bit of context, last year on Cyber Monday, customers ordered 691 items per second. The streamlined process happens here at one of their fulfillment centers. This one in North Houston is about the size of 14 football fields. A lot of space for a lot of stuff. Here's how it gets to your door. They've got several stations like this one. Here, items get sorted, packed, and Amazon even has robots to help them out. And the best part about Cyber Monday? You can do it from your couch. There is no line. And what's great about it is just the nonstop deals. And this year, those great deals come with free shipping, and there's no minimum required all the way through Christmas. Happy shopping, everyone. I'm Michelle Choi for KHOU 11 News. No matter where you're shopping, experts are warning use credit cards with caution. And remember, store credit cards often come with high interest rates. You might say 5% on your purchase, but then if you have a 25% interest rate, if you keep a balance for a little over two months, you're losing those um, 5%. Thomas Moeller is an associate professor of finance at TSU. He says stores are counting on people this holiday season to open cards and not pay their bills in full or to keep spending. One recent report showed more than 39 million people who charged their holiday shopping list last year are still paying it off. If you're looking for deals today, though, head over to KHOU.com slash deal boss. All day, our Matt Granite is updating his top Cyber Monday deals. He's also got seven deals happening now that are even better than the Black Friday price. Sounds pretty good. Tomorrow is Giving Tuesday, and you can give back and stand for Houston by being a secret Santa for kids in need. We've teamed up with Reliant, Randall's Signature Care, and IBEW 716 for the KHOU 11 Secret Santa Toy Drive. You can drop off new unwrapped toys at participating Salvation Army locations the list is at KHOU.com. Blake, a lot of people out and about today shopping. How's the weather looking? Shaping up to be a beautiful afternoon. In fact, we've got a long stretch of really pretty weather. The only fly in the ointment may be very early in the morning on Saturday, and you'll see that coming up in the seven day. But all in all, very nice weather ahead as uh, we kick off this Monday. Take a look here at the satellite and radar. Not a whole lot going on. You can see all the clouds pushing on off towards the east end of Louisiana, leaving behind bright sunny skies here across the Houston area. It's not very warm outside, though. 54 right now at both airports, 52 in Conroe, still holding on to mid to upper 40s in our four, far northwestern sections, 48 in Huntsville, 46 in College Station, 51 out there in Bluebell Country, and 55 down there on Galveston Island. Now, you couple that with the northerly winds. Look at this, 14, 15, 21 miles an hour down there on Galveston Island. That's giving us a wind chill into the 40s, so it is certainly a chilly afternoon, especially by Houston standards. Keep in mind, it's only late November and we've already had a trace of snow here in the Houston area. Uh, it's be interesting to see exactly what this winter holds heading into the next couple of months. Take a look at the clouds and radar here across the state of Texas. Not a whole lot going on. There's our front out there in the uh, northwestern Gulf of Mexico. Really a gorgeous day across the entire state, but it is cold. 43 up there in Dallas, 52 in Austin, 48 in Amarillo, still holding on to 42 at Texarkana, 51 in Beaumont. The only warm spot appears to be down there deep in the valley, 64 in Harlingen. Now take a look at the temperature departures. It is 22 degrees colder right now than just 24 hours ago up in Texarkana, 20 degrees colder in Lufkin, Houston, 20 two degrees colder down there in Victoria. So certainly a pretty healthy front has moved into our region. So the front is going to continue to push on off to the east. We're going to be left with sunshine here across the Houston area heading into your Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll see a quick increase in clouds heading into Wednesday. Then our next big frontal makers or weather maker is going to be this front that moves through Saturday. Look at this four o'clock in the morning. You'll see a line of showers and thunderstorms trying to develop out ahead of that front. Now this is just one of several computer models and a lot of the computer models actually show dry weather as this front comes through. So we'll have to watch this closely. This we'll see if this is a trend showing some thunderstorms moving through our region. If it does produce thunderstorms, some of those could be on the strong to severe side. Again, very early Monday more uh, Saturday morning before that front pushes on off to the east. Now behind it, these winds will be rushing right on through here. So Saturday afternoon looks to be a breezy wind, but at least somewhat pretty heading in again to the afternoon hours and into Sunday as well. Take a look at your future track. A little closer look here. This is beginning today at 12 o'clock. You'll notice the clouds moving out. Should be a beautiful afternoon today and tomorrow heading into Wednesday. We'll see an increase in clouds. Same heading into Thursday as well uh, before the uh, 
the, the rain chances move back in heading into Saturday. So as far as our temperatures go, uh, again, a chilly afternoon. This takes us into 4 o'clock today. You'll notice 54, 55, 55 in Pearland, 54 in Sugarland. Temperatures really aren't going to move a whole lot more than where they are right now. Temperatures will cool off into the uh, 40s and eventually those mid to lower 30s heading into the overnight hours tonight. So that should spark right away. Say, oh, we could see a freeze across the area. Probably not here in the city of Houston. We're looking for far northern sections. In fact, the best chance to see a freeze would likely be from about far northern sections of Liberty County to about Conroe, Brenham, College Station, and Huntsville. That's where the best chance of a freeze will take place. The city of Houston, at least right now, appears to be fairly safe.